As the Los Angeles Lakers look to round out their roster ahead of training camp, solidifying front court depth has clearly been a goal for since basically the end of last season. And they have now filled that position, I think, by adding a talented young big man. This player the Lakers just signed is dripping with untapped potential and, if we're being honest, is one of the biggest mysteries to see an NBA floor over the last couple of years. The Lakers, I think, have basically just gotten a first-round pick for free. So in today's video, I am telling you all about Christian Coloco. Thanks for checking out the channel today. My name is Troy. This is the Half Court Report. Make sure you drop a like on this video to help support the channel and click that subscribe button too so you never miss another NBA video from me. So unless you're a super fan of the NBA, you're probably not super familiar with Christian Coloco. Well, that is okay. I am here to educate the masses. Christian Coloco, he is a seven foot one, 230 pound center. Originally, from Cameroon. Coloco is 24 years old now, but he actually came to the U.S. when he was a teenager and attended high school in L.A. at Sierra Canyon. That's the same school that Bronny James went to. Had a solid high school career, ended up going to the University of Arizona, where he really broke out as a junior and helped that team make it to the Sweet 16. That was the team with Benedict Matherin and Dalen Terry. So that helped Coloco get drafted 33rd overall by the Raptors in 2022. And coming into the draft, there were some mocks that actually had him in the late teens. So when he fell to 33, a lot of folks thought the Raptors got a pretty big steal. So he saw limited minutes in Toronto as a rookie, but a life-threatening blood clotting disorder forced him to nearly retire going into his second season in the NBA. So he sat out last year, but now by all accounts, he's healthy and he is going to be cleared to resume his NBA career. And this is a huge get for a Lakers team that is weak in the front court. I mean, come on, it looks like you're going to be starting Anthony Davis and then behind him, Jackson Hayes, Christian Wood, Jared Vanderbilt, and both Vanderbilt and Wood, they're injured. So I think Christian Coloco could legit compete for a place on this roster. Anthony Davis has also said he wants to play next to a center. That would allow AD to play power forward where he could roam on the defensive side of the ball. Coloco, also a tremendous finisher inside for a Lakers team that is heavy on guys who would be able to feed him the ball in the right spots. So let's take a look at some of the scouting reports from when Christian Coloco came into the NBA to get a better idea on exactly what the Lakers have in him. Bleacher Report actually compared him to Nick Claxton on the Nets, and they said Coloco will have a defined role that calls for rim running, shot blocking, and switching defensively. And he was also one of the nation's most efficient post scorers and improved at the free throw line. NBA Draft Room said of Coloco that he has turned into one of the best shot blockers in the 2022 draft, a true rim protector who can anchor a defense. Coloco shows some post moves, a little turnaround jumper, a jump hook, and he's a threat on putbacks at the rim. His main value is rebounding, defending, and he can guard in space. Brings good intensity and intangibles and does all the little things that contribute to winning. Mark Luciano of Raptors Rapture said that Coloco will come into the league as a tremendous shot blocker as he swatted away just under three shots per game in just 25 minutes his third year at Arizona. And then Jeremy Wu of Sports Illustrated said with legit height and a seven foot five wingspan, Coloco has been one of the top rim protectors in the country. He is mobile with above average balance at his size. He also gets good extension around the basket on finishes. And while he doesn't shoot many jumpers, his size, productivity, and high level shot blocking should keep him on the map as one of the more intriguing developmental bigs available in this draft. And let's talk about that. The Lakers are focusing on developing their young players. That's one of the reason that they brought in J.J. Redick. They think he can do that. And let's be honest, they've done a great job of developing Austin Reeves, and they are wanting to develop in a big way their players like Jalen Huchifino, Max Christie, Bronny James, and we can add Christian Coloco to that list. I think this was a great pickup for the Lakers. I was watching some interviews with Coloco, and he seems like a really friendly 
down-to-earth, outgoing personality. So I think not only does he serve as a nice developmental piece, he gives the Lakers a good guy to have in the locker room as well. That's my take. Let me hear what you guys think in the comments. Since you've watched this far, make sure you drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button too. Check out some of the other videos I have on this channel, and I will catch you next time on the Half Court Report. Have a great day.